Let's do the inverse Laplace of 2s plus 16 over s squared plus 4s plus 13. And you know the denominator here, we have to complete the square, right? s squared plus 4s, and leave a space, and then put on plus 13. Wait, what number do I need right here? Let's look at this, which is 4, divided by 2, which is 2. Square that, which is 4, so let's put on plus 4, and be sure you minus 4 right here as well. And then you will see this right here, the first three terms, right? It's going to be s plus 2 square, and then of course 13 minus 4, which is 9. You can write the 9 as 3 square, and this is what we have, and this will be the new denominator. Okay, so if you look at s plus 2 here, on the top, I should also have an s plus 2, isn't it? But I do have 2s plus 16. And this 2 is bothering us. So what we need to do is, look at this 2 here, and I'm going to factor it out. We have the 2s plus 16, right? So first of all, let me factor out the 2. So we have this 2 in the front. Let me just put it down right here. This 2 in blue, all right? And then you can see this is the inverse Laplace transform, let me write on the bottom so we can feel better, is this. We have the s plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. And on the top, I factored out the 2, right? So we will just have the s and then plus 8. And this is what we have. And we should be able to take care of this, no problem. At the end, just multiply the 2 all the way in the front, isn't it? All right, now, you see, I want to match the s plus 2. On the top, I have s plus 8. You can look at the 8 as plus 2 plus 6, right? But another way to see it is, of course, you can just say plus 2 here and then minus 2, right? This is not power, but you know the deal. So let me just erase this, minus 2. That looks better, I think. So look at this now as 2 times the inverse Laplace transform. And let me just separate the fractions as well. I will put a big parenthesis around this. First, I will have s plus 2 over the denominator, which is s plus 2 square, and then plus 3 square, like this. And now close the first inverse of plus transform. And then I will be adding this with plus 8 plus, so 8 minus 2 is 6, right? 6, let me factor it out. So we have plus 6. Once again, 8 minus 2 is 6. And we have the inverse Laplace transform. On the top, we have the 1 over. On the bottom, which is the same denominator, as plus 2 square plus 3 square, like this, all right? Okay, this right here, oh, once again, I'll put on two all the way in the front. We can do it, right? S on the top and also S on the bottom. And even though this is S plus 2, S plus 2, you know it's going to be some kind of cosine. But it's S plus 2. That means S minus negative 2. That means I have to multiply by e to the negative 2t, right, in the t world. And then cosine of 3t. And you don't need to divide or multiply by any other numbers for this part. For cosine, this is it. Well, let's look at the sign. So let's see. Right here, we just have a 1. That's why I tell you it's a sign. But you see, this is plus 3 squared. On the top, I need to have the 3. So let's multiply by 3. But I will have to divide the 3 out, right? So 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then the inverse Laplace of this. Well, we have the s plus 2. So it's going to be e to the negative 2t. And then this is the sine function. So we have sine of 3t. And this is pretty much what we have. At the end, of course, let's draw the arrows, this and that, to make it cute, right? So we have 2 e to the negative 2t cosine of 3t, and then plus 4 e to the negative 2t sine of 3t. And this is it, right? And once again, this is not power. This is 8 minus 2, and this is s plus 2.